Hey guys and welcome! Today we're going to be talking a little bit about shedding, especially for beginners. I have gathered some information that I really wish that I had known when I was a beginner, so I'm really hoping that it's going to be some help for you. You may ask yourself or you may ask me, just what is shedding really? Why does a snake shed? And it's actually quite fascinating and it's actually quite simple. The snake is shedding simply because it needs to grow. And the fun fact or the cool fact about it is that the snake starts to shed uh, right after it's born and then up until it dies. Like the snake never ever stops shedding. When the snake is shedding it loosens the upper layer of the skin and then it kind of crawls out of it. There is no timetable for when snakes are shedding. They do it depending on growth which again depends on how often and how much you feed them. So if your snake is not shedding as often as someone else's snakes don't worry it's probably perfectly normal. As you can see in the background here, I actually do have a pretty big collection of sheds. These are just a few of the ones that I have, but I really do enjoy collecting them. And when we're talking about sheds, they can be very small, but they can also be very, very big. But overall, they're the same. It's just the size that differs. This one here is from Queenie. And this one here is from, I believe it's Samara. And as you may be able to hear, it kind of crackles. Can you hear it? And it also has this kind of, it feels a little bit like a plastic bag, like the texture. If you pick up the shed immediately after the snake has shed it off, it can be kind of gooey and kind of wet and kind of, it smells kind of funny. But when you roll it out or when you leave it to dry, it, it ends up looking like this one, like this beautiful, beautiful shed and it does these crackling noises. So you have to be a little bit careful when you're handling them. Yes. Of course, you don't have to keep the sheds if you don't want to, you can just throw them out. I really like to keep them because they remind me how important it is to make sure that the snake is shedding in one piece. And also, I really do enjoy showing it to people who are up here to look, especially people who are a bit scared of snakes. It can be a really good thing to begin with, to just show them the shed and having them touch it and feel it. And plus, I just think it looks totally badass when you have these long sheds just hanging around. You may sit there and ask me, just why is the shed important to me as a snake owner? And it is incredibly important to you because it is your best indicator that your snake is healthy. If your snake is shedding in one beautiful piece, that means that your humidity and your temperature and your housing is probably near to perfect. If the snake starts shedding in smaller pieces, that is your first warning that something might be off. Most likely it will be that your humidity is not quite on point. If your humidity is lower than what the snake requires, it can't really get the shed off like it's having some difficulty taking it off. It really needs to be a little bit more moist if you can say it like that, which is also why it might be a good idea to just bump up the humidity just a little during the cycle of shedding. Speaking of the cycle of shedding, why don't we talk about that? I've divided it into three, which means the beginning, the middle and the end. Mm. Funny enough, but let's start with the beginning. That's when you notice that the snake is going into shed. That's when you see the pink belly, you see the blue grayish eyes, and of course you see the dull color of the entire snake. That is the first sign that your snake is going into shed. I have to say that sometimes the pink belly can be difficult to spot. I really do most rely on seeing the dull color and of course these uh, grayish bluish eyes. When your snake is showing these signs, I typically say that it's about take or give a few days, but 10 days until your snake is shedding full. The second phase of this cycles of shedding is that suddenly everything clears up on your snake. No dark colors and no gray darkest eyes, like the snake looks completely normal but there's no shed. And you're wondering where is the shed? Is it lost somewhere? Have I done something wrong? But what you really have to do is just wait a few more days. It's perfectly normal, every snake does this. Just wait a few more days and you will see a beautiful shed in your terrarium. Which leads me on to part number three, which of course is the shedding. That is when the snake sheds off this upper layer. There are several ways that the snake can leave this uh, shed for you. If it is a healthy shed, you will most likely either find it rolled up in a ball or you will find it all stretched out through the terrarium. If the shed is not that healthy and it's in little pieces, you will find them scattered all over the terrarium. Don't worry too much if the shedding in pieces has happened to you. Just make sure that you rise the humidity and check that everything is correct. If there are some pieces of shed still stuck to your snake, I do have a few tips and tricks for you to follow and you can see it in this video up here, I think it is. That one, that video will definitely help you help the snake to get rid of this uh, stuck shed that is left. And of course I also have some tips and tricks for you guys and my first tips to you, tips, 
And my first tip to you guys is to just mist the top of the hide a little bit when the snake is going into shed because that will bump up the humidity a little bit more than the usual that the snake needs and that will help it shed. Just mist once a day on top of the hide and that will help the snake a great deal. Tip number two is to leave the snake completely alone during this shedding cycle. You can take it out if you really need to, but it's best to just leave them alone because they can get a little bit more uh, irritated during the shed. And as you may imagine, it might be a little bit itchy, a little bit uncomfortable to have this uh, upper layer of skin loosen. So it's absolutely best to just leave it alone. My third tip to you guys is that you can feed your snake if you want to. It's not unlikely and it's actually very normal if your snake doesn't want to eat during shed. So don't be worried about that. But some snakes, they don't mind like for example Queenie or my California King snake don't mind at all if they are in shed or not so you can feed if you want to and if you're worried about not being able to uh, hold your feeding schedule but don't be worried if they're not going to eat it's perfectly normal so just to sum it all up the shedding is a completely normal behavior from the snake it does it from the beginning when it's born and up until it dies and the shed is your best indicator to tell if your snake is healthy a beautiful healthy shed should always be in one uh, long piece and if your snake is shedding and smaller pieces it's most likely that the humidity is too low and last but not least of course you don't have to keep the shed if you don't want to I keep it as a reminder just to tell me how important it is that the snake is healthy and when the snake is healthy the shed will come off in one big beautiful piece that's all for now guys thank you so much for watching please give the video a like so I know that you like what I make it really does mean a lot to me and while you're at it just subscribe on that channel if you have any comments or questions about shedding or anything else just put them right down in the comment section I would love to hear from you that's all for now thank you and Bye-bye!